Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the differences in tethers that you're gonna put on your snowmobile. Most places that you race a snowmobile, you're gonna be required to have a tether switch and a lot of confusion comes about when uh, you're looking at tethers and they say NO or NC and a lot of people don't know what that means and that, that means normally opened or normally closed. And today we're gonna to show you with a multimeter, two different switches, one's a normally closed, one's a normally open and show you what, what that means by watching our meter on the resistance side of thing, basically opening and closing the circuit. So what he's doing is he's hooking his leads up to the two connections on the tether switch. We take our meter, could be different on whatever meter you have, but you're looking for the horseshoe, resistance, ohms, whatever you want to call it. Right now you can see <laughs> out of something luck yeah. <laughs> is what we say there, or OL. We will start by looking at the normally closed tether, which is this one. So that means in its cap on state, the it's, connection between the wires is closed. Yeah. And when you remove the cap, saying like you flew off the sled or whatever, it opens the circuit and shuts the engine off. So that's where the discrepancy comes in with your tether switches, because if you get the wrong one, well, it's only gonna run with the tether off <laughs> if you get the wrong one. So he'll put his meter leads on the two wires just to show you. And then I'll put a Oh, here's the leader. Tight. There it is. Yep. So, cap on. You can see our meter has changed from open to a few ohms of resistance, which means it's closed. Cap on. You pull the tether cap off. You fall off the snowmobile. Fall off the snowmobile. And it opens. So that That's would be what you call a normally closed tether switch. Now we're going to show you the exact same thing, but on a normally open tether switch. So that means when the cap is on these two wires are open. They're not making a connection is all that means. And our meter has proven that, oh well. We go ahead and we remove the, the cap. This is off a of Skidoo, by the way, factory. You can see when the cap is removed, there's a connection made. So that is how you would test a tether switch as well, to see which way it is. If you had a random tether laying around and you wanted to check it, they're referring to when the cap is on is what they're talking about what its state is. So if it's a if it's an NO or an NC, that means it's with the cap on. So if you can remember that, you'll be in good shape. And like I said, figuring out what your sled is is basically trying to find a wiring diagram or going to one of the switches it already has and checking the, the connection basically using your meter on and off and whatever it's in the run position is the state that the tether would have to be in. So in this case, we took the key. Yep, the key wires. Those I mean, two you, blacks. Could, you could use your meter on the key switch itself and see if when it's on yeah. or off, what your meter reads to know yep. if it's open or closed. Exactly. So we'll plug or if that you cut the wires in. and it doesn't run, cool. Touch them together, yep. it runs. Exactly. We, we check it with a smart guy here. But So hopefully this helps somebody when they want to learn about tether switches. We're going to plumb this one in because we had an issue with this engine. We swapped the engine out, started it up, and the tether was backwards. We're installing the tether switch in the dash. We're actually putting in the choke slot on this particular thing. You would obviously want to put it in a different area, most likely. With washers, we put a washer on each side of it. The big thing is you want to make sure that you don't under or over adjust it. Right. Because when you screw this nut down to hold it into wherever you drill your hole, it's gonna- She's talking about this cap. This cap gets screwed to tighten it into your plastic. But if you're too loose, your button won't push on it. Right. And then it's not gonna work like it's supposed to. Or if you go too far, you could actually run it out. And it might not work either. And then when you try to put this on, it won't be enough to, so you kind of got to adjust it. Yep. When you get it in, make sure that it works. Yep, we double check it with the meter. Especially so. if you're hard wiring it. In our case, we're using connectors. So, so like I said, we'll put our cap back on. And this this cap isn't the best, it's been sitting outside on an old ski do. so. Basically what we do is we take our meter, and you can see we put it on the connectors, the pins, the meter is open, and we remove the tether switch and it's closed. So that is exactly how we want this particular machine to be ran. So that is a good test, and uh, that assures us when we go to start it, we shouldn't have issues. 
You know what I mean? The last thing you need is for it to not shut off or for it to be shut off in the shut off state and you're yanking it over 100 times and wondering why it won't start. So been there, done that. That's why we do this stuff. Not a, not a good time. Get those Anyways, we'll get the, see if these connectors fit. We're just gonna put spades uh, in that connector. Maybe. Yeah, we should be good. Sweet, so we'll crimp those on guys, stick them in there, and then we'll start it up and make sure that it functions properly. Got the tether guys all hooked up, connected. Pretty kosher down there. Let's see if she... Successfully done it. Smells like clots. Do these um, guys want a little secret on these crappy jag hoods? Figured out. So these hoods, these hinges always tear out of the fiberglass or the bolts snap off. When in doubt, you have to remove it and the bolts snap off. If you take and you drill the holes all the way through the fiberglass, and you see you put bolts all the way through. Oh, yeah. Little cheat sheet. Little because cheat sheet. They all bust off. Oh yeah, guarantee. It's, it's a, a guarantee. Kind of yeah. failure on these things. So, anyways, guys, that is a little spiel on on tether switches, identifying what you have and what you need, and uh, hopefully that clears up when you go to buy one. If you see that NC or that NO, uh, this maybe will will clarify that, and then you're you're gonna be set to go when you need to order the right one, and you don't have to worry about returning it and then getting a different one. So, until the next video.